All right, I figured I'd do a little video here, 2016 XC90 with a really loud, whistly, whine-type noise coming from the engine. What you're going to do if you get this noise, ho hopefully I can attach that video, is you're going to take your oil cap and you're going to lift it and see if the noise instantly drops. If it instantly drops, you kind of know what's going on. In hooking up the scanner, we have a lean fault, so you will see a check engine light with this with a P0171 System 2 Lean. Um, you'll actually see, if you have a scanner, you'll see your short-term fuel trim uh, getting out of whack, and if it's been going on long enough, your long-term will be out of whack on it. There, it looks like it's gonna actually make noise for us. You should be able to hear the chirping. Maybe even might get confused with an accessory or belt noise. But when we pull the oil cap, you'll notice that it'll go away. And it comes back. Okay, we're going to need to replace the oil trap breather. And let's get started taking this apart. Remove the engine cover with the four T40 plastic fasteners. Okay, just that simple. Pull the cover off. There are four Torx T40 um, screws. Uh, lift it right off, and then you got this guy just sitting there staring at you. And there's eight fasteners that go right down it, and one tube that will have to be removed, and that'll come off. And of course, we'll do a little cleaning and put the new one back on. Okay, with the oil trap off, this is what it looks like. Um, if you are close to your interval for your spark plugs, now would be the time to do it because that guy has to come off. If you're not that close, it's not that big of a deal to get it off later. But you could certainly kill two birds with one stone by changing your spark plugs, which are just underneath these coils right here, which of course are removable by a screw. So these were 8 millimeter bolts that held this guy on. I'm just going to go very gently with a lint-free cloth and a little bit of brake clean and clean the rim of that off uh, so the new one seals on properly. Okay, and putting this all back together, the only thing we have left here is your ventilation tube. Volvo was nice enough, they put a little line right there into the casting. They do this on a lot of their hoses and components and the hose itself has a corresponding mark and that was their idea on the assembly to make sure everything orients in the correct position so everything flows correct and it doesn't touch anything that it shouldn't touch. And clip back in position. And we'll just set the cover back on and clear the check engine light and everything should be all good. As a note with this cover, these will simply push straight down. You'll hear them click. And then I'm just literally by hand taking a socket. And I do about a quarter turn. And that should be sufficient. And that should be all good. We'll test fire it up and we'll listen for a noise. And like I said, clear codes and drive it. Right, looks like we have a fixed car. Replace the oil trap and the high pitch whine is gone. I've been running it for a little while and have not heard it since. So a little bit of driving and looks like all is well.